Alrighty, let's jump on and do a pop of the bar bow. I'm loving his new getup though. I feel like I just need I just needed to have that outfit for his everyday, and I'm happy now. <laughs> we can we can semi move on. So let's do let's do a papa for our dog lover. That would be worthy of a noble. Well, who knows what you guys could say. It could be a purple dog for all we know. <laughs> I don't know how to judge these things anymore with these guys. They kind of just do what they want. But I'm getting like a kudo. And he can keep the same last name. Yeah. I'm getting I'm getting a boy vibe. And an older dog that's been with him for a while. Support him through his life for a little bit. Okay, let's see if they want to pick a breed. I haven't actually gone into depth making a soul pup, like a soul pet before. So I'm curious how much in depth they'll go. So we're going a big dog. Australian Shepherd in mind. Oh. And we're doing anything with the coat. This can get complicated when you do the coat, so I don't know what to what extent they'll go. Oh gosh. Okay. I want to go in advanced mode. We go in this, we go this together, okay? We don't know how this is gonna turn out, or we're gonna come out unscathed. <laughs> Cause this is you can have so much flexibility in their space. I have no idea where to start. Let me just see if they want to change any of these. Okay, I don't know what color this is, but I think they want to change this one. I don't even know what that changed, but they wanted to change it. Are we adding something? Yes. So that's add a layer. Add a new layer, copy layer. We'll add a new layer but now we're going to be like okay what is this layer going to be a marking yes go with this let's see how big they want it At the moment, we are looking at the very back here. It's a bit hard because it's a dark colour. But we're going to change this colour now. Okay, we're going to copy this one again. This one. It's gonna like yes no's as to whether they want smaller or bigger. Okay, copy again. They're liking this lighter tone. I don't exactly know why. <laughs> But it's kind of cool to see how it turns out. Okay, we're just going up head. Change the color a bit. something else what is this custom coat color I think, correctly. I think you can actually um, I've never looked into this but you can upload a coat that someone else has made and just plug it in which I might do for my horses because with the horses it's kind of cool when they get shaders they can put shaders onto it that allows them to look more natural like they've actually got the shadowing on the form to actually kind of look them like they're not just a block <laughs> and 
any natural horses in the game already have them, but if you have a baby that's born, it just gets randomized with its colors from its parents. So if there's a shader in a particular part of its body, it just kind of ends up being anywhere, everywhere. Doesn't work as a shader anymore. It's just like a big giant dark spot. <laughs> so I'm thinking I might get shaders in the future. But they brought me here and I've actually never used this section before. I don't know what any of these do. Um, but it's cool. You can actually adjust its fur length here. Fur density. Uh, whether it's got really curly hair or not. Which is really quite quirky and that's pretty fun. Okay, well that's who we've created. Is it Kudo? Is that is that who we're working with? I'm not very good with names. Kudo. It is Kudo. Gosh, me doubting myself. Okay, so this is little Kudo who's going to be joining. So let's go back to basic mode. And see if there's any other adaptations they want to make to Kudo. I'm liking the duckling. I think that's really quite cute, actually. Okay, Kudo. First shape we already kind of tweaked. Look at his tail. I'm having a long tail. Okay, and then we go into shape. Apparently we're going to tweak the head and that might be the only thing they want to be tweaking on. Cute or so sweet. Okay, let's see. I haven't really done a lot of tweaking here. This might not end up looking like an Australian Shepherd after this. Oh gosh! Wow. <laughs> Kind of new for me to explore anyway. That's a bit cute. Okay, that's kudo. I just, it always blows my mind how much detail you can put into these. Oh, <gasps> cute! What breed are you thinking we're going right right now? From that face, he looks more like a spaniel. Springer spaniel. Mm. Head in the head. Mm -hmm. Well, what always intrigues me, especially I'm curious because obviously Barbo is kind of based on an older time frame in human history. The dogs back centuries ago were very, very different to how they look now. So, for example, what would have been a Spaniel would probably potentially look closer to this than it does that modern day Spaniel. And I really find it intriguing seeing that, that progression of selective breeding. Like, it's, it's kind of cool. Mm. I love genetics. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan when it ends up marring dogs though like for a way that isn't beneficial for the dog's health mm. but it's just because it looks cute like any of us short snouted dogs that is why why are we okay with accepting that mm. <laughs> they can't breathe anyway okay let's see if he wants an accessory no accessory so that means we're going to kudos personally challenge changing eyes no, I don't think they're changing. I kind of like Kudo's eyes. They look very striking. I'm going to say they look a little intelligent, but bold. Be like, take me on. Okay, let's see what personalities Kudo has. He's lazy. Doesn't like doing a lot. Oh my god, that was so cute. Independent. And proud. A lazy proud dog would be very uh, interesting. So the traits, so independent pets not only prefer to be on their own, but have more time when playing on their own, on their own rather than in big groups or other social situations. 
Um, they love to lie down or stay at one place as they get tired easily. They're like just lounging around. I could definitely see Kudo like being around mm -hmm. the feet of, uh, of Babo whilst he's painting. Be like, I'm just chill here. This is good. <laughs> and proud. They think they're better than others and make their own image a top priority. They can't stand having low hygiene. So at least he'll look after his hygiene for you. <laughs> okay. Okay, so Kudo is strong, reliant, and has been the trusting companion to Barbo through all his ups and downs, learning and discovering who he is and what his gift is to the world. Through Kudo, Barbo has found his magic, and through this magic, perhaps Barbo can finally find his soulmate, and before he loses the canine friend. So I reckon, I reckon Kudo will help him find his soulmate before Kudo moves on to the next realm, but I think that's pretty fun. He's very, very sweet. I reckon he's very noble looking. Mm -hmm. Beautiful companion. And I'm just going to also add to this description, because I didn't add it to Barbo's when I should have, um, that this is, I'm going to put it down as a little text. So Papa. So that way, when I'm putting everyone into the neighborhood, I know who he matches up with. But let's save him. And I'd like to now make our soul brother. Okay. So let's go into create a sim. Oh, kudo. Oh. <laughs> okay, we're now soul brother here. Ah, boy. It'll be interesting seeing this sim in a in a male form <laughs> love that hair very fitting um okay let's see what his name is meant to be oh that's very straightforward his name's charles i think they're asking me to keep his name as ringette okay closest to his form I think humans are closest to the form they're wanting to portray him as. As an adult as well. Because I'm pretty certain so. that's what Barbo is as well. Okay. So this is Charles. Who has a little bit of a get up going on at the moment, but that's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll <laughs> He'll balance out. He's kind of like half draconian and half human at the moment. <laughs> what would you like to reveal first? Would you like to reveal his hair, looks, clothes, or personality? Well, his hair is two different colors. Yeah. <laughs> would you like to do his hair next? Well, either no hair on the top or a different color, a darker color. I would suggest. Well, let's do his hair and we'll see whether your guides agree. 
as to what goes on. Because it looks like a cap. It does. <laughs> it's a little worry. <laughs> okay, we're going ahead with an accessory apparently. Let's see if he's meant to be here in this French noble energy or he could be completely different. He looks somewhat androgynous as well. Mm, androgynous. What does that mean again? Half and half. That's pretty fitting. <laughs> he doesn't quite know where to fit yet. <laughs> okay, let's see what's down here. Okay. I'm liking this hairstyle for him. Alright, we'll change his hair colour. Red eyebrows now. They they uh they support his eye colour. <laughs> Accentuates the eyes. <laughs> okay. It's interesting with the dark and the black, but I don't mind it. It's refreshing. He probably will end up having a completely different face looking face at this stage. Um, change his hat. I can't even be I kind of like that hat though. I think it's quite a what? Because I feel like I've seen this hat style before. What? What uh, decade were these popular? Um, probably. Well, in 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 Europe, they've been popular for years, many years. Mm -hmm. I've got one similar to that. I feel like I've seen yours before. Probably have. It's downstairs now. <laughs> Workers used to have those hats. I think I recently watched Cinderella Man, which is that Russell Crowe boxes movie. And this was very popular from that time era. What was that? Oh, not good with time. I'm not good with decades at all. In the cab. I think that's very sweet. And then we can look into um, his eyebrows, which seem to have corrected themselves. <laughs> Maybe not. We did start a very interesting base for him having the draconian Rebecca as who we started off from because yeah she's not very human <laughs> okay oh, I need to get more eyebrows so I keep liking using these eyebrows but these eyebrows are the only ones yeah, not good Maybe want to use these eyebrows for now, but I need to get some more eyebrows. I think that's what they keep saying. They're like, Jackie, you need more of these CC eyes. Eyebrows. Okay, we're going yes to a beard. Brothers have to have the matching body hair. Very important. <laughs> from memory, Barbo just had the little bit on his back too, didn't he? <gasps> okay, I think that's all he's meant to be having there. And 
And then let's see. So that's everything to do with his hair currently. Do you want to do his looks, his clothes, or his personality next? Um. Sash girl. He still looks very feminine to me. Mm-hmm. I think he should look a bit more masculine. Well, that would be probably the looks that will really bring out what his facial features are meant to be like. Whatever. Okay. Okay, let's see how this turns out. Cheekbones. more the look we're getting. He's got a very square face, hasn't he? He does have a very square face. Alrighty, let's see what happens when we change his... See if he's got a different eye colour. He's got a dark eye colour. So we're going like a dark brown. Now eye shape. How's he coming together? It's looking a bit like a bearded lady. Only a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so far so let's see how he looks when we do his nose at this moment. It's got a tiny nose. We might change it later, but for some reason they're wanting to keep it like that for now. Okay, now our mouth coming together. From this stage, is he kind of giving off to you? Very unique features. Mm. Right, we might refine a few things. Is a lot of those kind of like European vibe though? Like some of those features? 
It's sort of, in a way, a bit Asian as well. You guys are like, oh, we're, we're just oiling up, you know. <laughs> we're just warming up to this. We just had to, to, to do some oiling. <laughs> oh, dear. And then they're carrying on something about old age. Sounds like they're just making excuses to me. And they're laughing about it. <laughs> So that's what sort of shit you guys get up to. It's a very European nose, would you say? Very short lower lip. We haven't gotten to, to re tidy up the. refine the lips yet. We're on nose, we're on nose duty. side of things and I don't think they wanted to change that. We'll see.
chin. That would be the chin, yeah? Jaw depth. Yes, it is. Okay. Still want it to be a little bit like that, though, by the looks of it. I think he's come together. He looks like he's pretty well rounded. I have no idea how to pick where he's from, though. Can you figure out a little bit of a location from those features? Well, in Europe, over the centuries, they're so mixed. You know, like. <coughs> I mean, it could be Azerbaijani or, or one of those countries. Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan. But I've never heard of that before in my life. That's a country in Central Europe, Central, Eastern Central Europe. What is it, uh, what culture is it similar to? It's close to Russia. Okay. So they'll have... And, and a lot of Russians have a very um, Mongoloid appearance because they border Mongolia mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and intermarriage between them. Hmm. Fascinating. Because he's also got a very pale skin tone. Okay. Okay. Well, we could do his clothes now or his personality. Let's do his personality. Oh, okay. I think we did this pattern last time, didn't we? Hmm? We did clothes last, last time as well? Anyway, let's see what his personality is like. He's a perfectionist. Fellow hopeless romantic. Oh. I think we he might be the second hopeless romantic we've ever had. So you bring in the hopeless romantic energy, which is nice. <laughs> Let's have some romantics. A vegetarian. Oh, great kisser. I don't really do have a romantic in this. <laughs> that, was, that was a cute little... And he's also lucky. So there you go, we've got a perfectionist. Perfectionists spend more time cooking, writing, or even painting, but what they eventually finish is noticeably better than something created by other sims. Perfectionists accept nothing shy of perfection. Hopeless romantic, passionately seeks their soulmate. They want romance, true love, and surround themselves with cheesy romantic television, televisions and novels. Uh, vegetarian sims will never choose to eat meat, and doing so causes them to quickly become ill. Great kisses, uh, uh, kiss better than any other sim. They give kisses that are not easily forgotten. Ooh. And lucky sims are closely followed through life with a comforting sense of luck. They win often, and they win big. So I actually kind of like his energy. <laughs> He's actually really refreshing. So let's see what he would like to do for his lifetime wish. Okay, we're going customized one. Oh, he wants to be in the film career as a director. Hmm. Directing those romance films, I reckon. Okay, let's see what his favorites are. Stir fry. Rock music. Hmm. He likes lime green. Herbie. We'll go back into his bio. And he's a Virgo. Okay, and let's see what his personality is.
Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Okay, so this is really sweet. So, his bow is, it is time for a fresh new beginning, new hope and new adventures. And, I, and to find one's true soulmate. I muse about creating a divine connection and love creating the magic of romance on the television screen. Let me create magic through my love of love. I think that's really sweet. So, this is our brother here. Charles, it's a very unique name. Oh, it's not... It's not alien like all the other ones I've seen to have been. Okay, so we've got Charles here. We'll be brothers with Barbo. It's time for clothing. Are you ready for this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right, we'll go into his uh, everyday last. Let's see what he's for more time. We've got all new outfits. <laughs> it's going to be so much to go and explore. We're apparently starting in this attire. Let's see what's in here. And then my game can keep up without it being too exhausted with all the new options that I have. The whole thing, I'm like bombarding it. Oh, <laughs> so much for it to load in. Why is your head like that? This is a smart looking up. Oh, it's a necklace. Now I know why that's there. Okay. Let's see what his color, go to color is. All right, we've got our first yellow boy. Okay, that's cool. We haven't had someone be a fan of yellow as of yet that I'm aware of. I think they're meant to be um, embroidered no, feathers. No, on his trousers. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I haven't looked at that yet. <laughs> you, you don't look at that, Ted. <laughs> Forget you can see that. Just blank it out from your, from your eyes. Oh, dear. Okay. Um, so his pants. We do need to get rid of his medallion. It's wigging me out a little bit. We're just going some smart pants. I'm actually really liking that jacket. I think that's really refreshing. We have not had a yellow person yet. Very tidy. I think they want to keep the shoes as they are, but let's see if we can change out this medallion he's decided to keep on his body. And we'll do his hair as well. For some reason he's decided he wants to go a top hat. Why? I don't I don't know, Ted. I don't know why he wants to go a top hat. Medallion would be a necklace. Let's get rid of necklaces. The brothers seem to have a tendency to like this ring. I noticed that on um, Barbo as well. He does look very smart with that top hat though. I will, I will give him that. <laughs> Why he's got that hair though, I do not know. Let's see if he wants to wear something else. Whoa, that looks fancy. Okay, but we do want that to be open because we want him to have his hat when he's in his everyday clothes. Let me just make sure that he's still got his hat. Because why it turned to a top hat, I don't. I 
go get his hat back. Come on, game. I believe in you. You can do it. It's like, why are you giving me so much to load? <laughs> Maybe if it has got less to load, it might, it might be happier. Okay, okay. He's still got his hat. That's good. Okay, let's go to his sleepwear. And see what attire he would pull forward for this. This is which way? This is his sleepwear. Sleepwear. Oh gosh, he's going crazy with his outfit. Now he's got wings, Ted. <laughs> what did you say to him? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, we're going full outfit for his sleepwear. Okay, he's also going to have a nighty with wings, apparently. It's not too different to his brother, actually. Okay, we'll get rid of the wings. Slippers? The slippers are here. No slippers. His brother's hugged all the slippers. Because we can have these guys uh, in the same house together when we move them into town. Um, we want to get rid of these wings, which I think would be considered accessories. Oh gosh, where's these wings hiding? I think they'd be up here. Are they? Nope. Where are these wings? Consider as. Okay, there we go. Got rid of the wings. Oh. No, you didn't. Why are bigger ones? I don't know. I don't know why they're there. <laughs> Alright, so we don't have wings, but we'll fix his hair. Something that's more fitting. He's probably more like this when he's going to bed. Okay, and then we'll do his athletic wear. Still got the ring on. Oh gosh. <laughs> That's a bit extra to work out in. <laughs> Alright, we'll do a two piece for his clothes. the other t-shirt styles here. <laughs> okay, we'll change the colour. Okay, there's a top. It's a nice top. Don't want to go too extra with working out, right? You say that, that some people go very extra with the workout. Kudos to them. Okay, he's just gonna wear bodies when he's working out. It's very tidy. Now, what crazy shoes is he going to wear with this? Maybe you could match your shoe get up. He needs to wear the green. How about that? <laughs> He's getting yellow going. Don't forget the red splotches. <laughs> the uh whatever those red splodges are from on your shoes Ted <laughs> oh 
Oh, the red does uh, stand out a lot on them though. Hmm. It looks a little, it's a little questionable. It's a little questionable. I don't know what. They need a wash. <laughs> Obviously a fan of yellow, which I don't mind. We'll do his hair. Because his hair looks a little wild. I don't know how we'd be able to style this instead of something that's like this. These are some new hairstyles that I haven't played with yet though. Which is pretty cool. Keep it as this, but it's a very interesting uh, workout. Get up. We don't ask questions, Ted. All right, let's do his swimwear. Awesome. Oh yes! I was wondering when when this was going to come out. How good is that? I saw it when I was like uploading things. I was like, oh, it's a ducky. Short footy wear. Speedo boy. Heck yeah. Okay, there's a bit of shine going on, but I think that's because I changed the settings when we'll kind of move through a few things. Got his speedos on. Keep his hair as it is, apparently. And then next is his outerwear. You're comfortable, Ted? Mm. He's probably not going to fit in as nicely as Barbo will in this medieval town, but. Yeah. Yeah, so there's an outfit for him. It's from a different time zone. Definitely. Okay. That looks pretty cool the way it is. Interesting that we got that shine going on at the moment. Okay, here's the color change for this. He's got to have the yellow style. Oh, he's just gonna have the little hint of yellow on the sole, just to be cool. Not too, not too intense, but it's there. <laughs> and we'll put his hat back on for this get up. Come on, poor game, trying to catch up. I think it was all the way down here. He's looking quite tidy. Mm. Last but not least, we do have his everyday attire now we've got to do. So that's when you use, when it's cold out. Maybe it's cold outside. And I think we're doing an outfit for this one too, which would be interesting. We 
go all the way down here and see what I've got in mind. Whilst he's getting into his uh, fancy attire. Online. With that medallion. Where'd the medallion come from? and then we'll get rid of the medallion that he's so proud of. I don't know where he thinks he won this medallion. Okay, let's see down here. I don't think thongs really fit that attire. <gasps> but these booties! <laughs> so good. Change the color to his colors. He varied his colors a little bit more than some of the others. Still had a color thing, but it's just a bit bigger than some others. shine that's making it look a little funny which won't be there once we're in game I hope I think that's just because I did that set up let's get rid of his medallion because it's triggering me a little bit <laughs> I don't know why he decided he's going to have a medallion right, boys will be boys isn't, isn't that the saying boys will be boys <laughs> Well, here we are, child, um, Charles. And Charles will make him soul brother to Barbo when we jump into the game. So they will be biological brothers. Now, would you be interested in doing a soulmate or would you like to have a little play with them in town? I thought he was a soulmate. It's his soul brother. Soul brother. Mm -hmm. You know, like brother but from the same mama. Yep. <laughs> let's jump into town. Alrighty. Go to town. We're going to town. Alright, let's save. Um, obviously, we've got to save Charles in. And now when we go into the proper neighborhood, have them on board, I will stop recording this little section and then 